Imagine renting an apartment in a nice complex you're led to believe is full and in high demand in a desirable part of the city, only to find out you might actually be the only person living there. That's exactly what happened to one TikTok user who started documenting this bizarre and ominous situation a couple of years ago. Let's investigate. If you enjoy internet mysteries and generally disturbing content, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content like this. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can become a Ko-fi member or a channel member to gain access to uncut videos and other perks, or you can leave me a tip by clicking the thanks under this video. Thanks to anyone who considers this. In October 2021, a man named Cody started posting a series of videos on his TikTok page about a situation he called Menugate. To summarise the first couple of videos, Cody has lived in an apartment complex for a while and started to wonder if something sketchy was going on because although he'd been told that the building was full, he'd never seen anyone else there. He became even more suspicious when he'd seen someone leaving menus for a local Chinese takeaway in apartment doors on a Friday, and the menus were still there on the Sunday. They were wedged in the crack next to the door and couldn't have still been there if the doors had been opened, suggesting that no one had been in or out of the apartments for at least three days. Two days later, five of the menus had gone, but the rest were still there. Cody wasn't sure if the owner had removed them or if people actually lived there and had returned after all being away for three days at the same time, which would be unusual in itself. Aside from it being strange that Cody was told that the building was full when it appears to be almost empty, it doesn't really make sense that it would be vacant. He says he lives in a nice park town in a demandable market and the building itself is a good place to live, especially for the price. In the third video, Cody shows the car park for the first floor, the one he lives on, where only residents of that floor are supposed to park. Surprisingly, there are more cars there than there are apartments, but some of them are covered with a thick layer of dust and cobwebs as if they haven't even been touched in quite some time. The car parks for the other floors are less full. Cody expected to see more for the amount of people that apparently live there. I guess with the uneven distribution, it is possible that people from other floors are parking on the first floor. I'm not sure why though, maybe they just find it easier to leave the cars there and walk up to their floor. Again, some of the cars are dusty and look like they haven't even seen the light of day for a year or more. Cody later notices that the tag on one of these cars expired in 2019. The car park on the roof is totally empty, not a single car in sight. Cody acknowledges that might not seem unusual for most people, but reiterates that he lives in Midtown Atlanta and that it's really rare to find empty parking spaces or buildings there. Other weird things Cody noticed about the building include that many of the door locks still have plastic wrap on them. One of the locks on one door appeared to have been drilled out as if someone had tried to break in. In one clip, he actually saw someone going through the door onto the stairs at the end of the corridor and ran after them, but they'd seemingly vanished, no sound of them even walking up or down the stairs by the time he got there. This is the only person he ever caught on camera. Over a year after he started the series, Cody mentioned in a comment that he has seen a few more people since, but never the same people and he can't confirm that they live there. At one point, someone had put door hangers on all of the doors, and almost all of them were still there two weeks later. However, on bin day, where residents can leave out their bin and someone will collect the rubbish, one of the doors with a hanger on had a bin in front of it with rubbish in it. So if anyone actually lives there, they left a hanger on their door for two weeks, yet still put the rubbish out. Most apartments didn't have bins in front, and from the ones that did, only some actually had rubbish in meaning either someone came and collected only some of the rubbish, or some bins had been put out with no rubbish in for some unknown reason. 
A TikTok user who had seen the menu gate videos and claimed to have lived in the apartments at one point messaged Cody and said this. Hi, so I just randomly stumbled on your TikToks about the apartments. I used to live there. Dude, it is sketchy. I'm not sure about the emptiness. It was decently occupied when we were there. But a few months before we left, it got real shady. Like my fiance found a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire in the courtyard. It was just all super weird when the management changed. There have been a few comments here and there from other users who claim to have lived in that building in the past who also thought something weird was going on, though of course we have no way of verifying their claims. One day, Cody goes outside at nearly 8pm when it's dark and takes a walk around the building, checking for lights. Quite a few of the apartments do have lights on, but most of them don't, and one with a light on doesn't appear to have any furniture inside. In the next clip, in response to a comment asking Cody to get a video of someone who works there claiming the building is full, he decided to check the website, figuring the staff might lie anywhere. There were only four apartments available to rent in the whole building, way less than you'd expect considering how empty the place seems. On day 8, there was a small update on the menus. All of them had gone, including one in an apartment that Cody knew for sure no one lived in, suggesting that staff had removed them. Part 7 showed Cody stepping out onto the stairs at the end of the corridor, which had water pouring down from above. This had somehow set the fire alarm off, and Cody and his dog had evacuated, and there were only two other people outside, in a building where 800 people are supposed to live. He received an email the next day stating that someone had pulled the fire alarm, but he noticed that there were no fire alarm pulley things, as he called them, I can't even think of the right word for that, on any of the walls in the corridors. On a different day, the fire alarm was going off again, and Cody filmed himself going out into the hallways and around the building outside, and no one else was anywhere to be seen, resulting in only two possibilities. No one else lives in the building, or all of the residents were just sitting in their apartments waiting to be burnt to a crisp. Eventually, it looked like someone was moving into the apartment across from Cody's, but he began to suspect this was staged because their furniture, wrapped in plastic, was left out in the hallway for three days. He presumably never actually met this person and saw no other evidence to suggest anyone actually moved in. The story took a dark turn in July this year when Cody received an email stating that the parking garage was closed until further notice, so no one can move their cars in or out. There were various cars parked outside the building, including five police cars, but no one was around, not even any police officers, and one of the cars even looked to have been abandoned, with the door left wide open and no sign of the driver. It was later revealed that someone had been murdered in the parking garage. Cody got an email informing him, but no other details were provided. That was the most recent upload at the time I'm writing this script, so what on earth is happening here? The first theory we'll consider is that this is an ARG or alternate reality game, or just some made up story. If menu gate is staged, it is relatively well done, but there are a few things that might point to it being fake. For example, in the video about the new neighbour's furniture in the hallway, Cody films his watch on each day to show the date, and he looks to be wearing the same jumper. He could have just worn it for three days, or maybe he just filmed the three clips on the same day and changed the date on his watch to make it look like it was different days. It's possible that Cody filmed the complex at convenient times to make it look like the place was empty. We don't even know for sure if the car parks he showed were for the same building and not somewhere else in the city. The series has been ongoing for almost two years, and you'd think he'd have just knocked on his neighbours' doors to check if anyone actually lived there at this point. The only interaction I've had with my neighbours in 18 months was when their post was accidentally delivered to me a while ago, so I had to go drop it off. And even I would be far too curious in Cody's situation to not knock on every single one of those doors to find out what's going on. There are a number of reasons he could have used. For example, when it looked like someone moved into the apartment across from him, he could have knocked and asked if they needed a hand moving the furniture in. 
Another theory that could align with it being an ARG or just a made up story is that it's all promotion for Cody's other content or his company. He's a lawyer and uploads content related to that, and considering months can go by with no menu gate updates, he could be strategically spacing them out so people follow him and see his other TikToks. If this is real, there are various possibilities to explain this bizarre situation. One is that it's some kind of real estate manipulation, that the building is almost empty but the building owners want to make it look like it's full so potential tenants are more likely to rent the vacant apartments. It doesn't look good if an apartment has been empty for a long period of time without a good reason, like renovation for example. People are bound to question what's wrong with it and it could well put people off. A landlord could potentially justify charging more in rent than the property is worth if it looks like it's in high demand too, so it certainly makes sense that they wouldn't want the public knowing how long the property was vacant for. This would make sense with the empty apartments shown on the website. No one else knows whether 1 or 100 apartments with the same floor plan are available to let. They can just advertise one, tell a hundred individuals they were the one lucky winner, and still rent out the rest to the other people. However, I'm not sure why they'd go to the lengths of leaving rubbish outside the doors of empty apartments to make them look not empty, unless it was on a day that they had viewings. It's quite unlikely people are just going to be wandering around in the building before they book a viewing. Another point that makes this theory less likely is what Cody was saying about it being a nice complex in a good area with reasonable rent. Why would it even be empty in the first place? Perhaps this question could be answered with the next theory, money laundering. If the owners of the building are making money in other, less legal ways, the apartments could be a front to make it look like that money came from rent. That said, although Cody probably isn't literally the only other person living there, there only seems to be a handful of others max. Is there much benefit to them actively keeping the other apartments vacant if they actually are in demand? Let's say there were a hundred apartments and five of them are occupied. The rent they charge can be found on the website and they can only launder money up to the value of rent for the other 95 apartments. If they already own the building, and officially they are landlords, so any taxes or other expenses they'd incur from being landlords would be the same whether the apartments are occupied or vacant, if they are officially claiming they're all occupied and that the money is coming from rent. If they could find tenants for the empty apartments, why not do that rather than make the money illegally if they're not going to be able to make more money with this method? It's not like someone laundering money through a shop or a restaurant where, within reason, there is no limit to how much money could be laundered. This theory would only make sense to me if they actually couldn't find tenants for the vacant apartments, but honestly, money laundering kinda confuses me. I might be missing something, so please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. There might not necessarily even be anything shady going on. Maybe the other apartments are rented, but some of them are used for storage or for business purposes. Maybe they're owned by an Airbnb host and don't often have other guests staying. Or some are rented by people who are occasionally in Atlanta for work and so don't occupy them most of the time. Even if the apartments are occupied the whole time, that doesn't necessarily mean Cody would know that. I work from home and only leave the house about once a week, if that. Most of the people who live on my street probably don't even know I exist. So if the tenants are anything like me, it makes sense that Cody wouldn't have seen them around. It would be unusual for these theories to apply to so many apartments in the same building, but maybe there's a combination of all these possibilities happening at once. Perhaps more apartments are vacant than staff are letting on. They're telling people the complex is almost full to make it look more in demand and not put people off. But there aren't as many that are totally vacant as Cody thinks. Some of the others are only actually occupied some of the time for the reasons mentioned a minute ago. I certainly wouldn't rule out this entire situation being faked by Cody, but I'm a little more inclined to believe that there is a bit of a mystery that a lot of the apartments are vacant and that there doesn't seem to be an obvious reason for that, but that Cody might be exaggerating a bit and strategically filming to make the place look more empty than it is. I 
I'd be interested to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments, plus any other mysteries you'd like me to cover in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Huge thank you to my Kofi members and channel members whose names are on screen now. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week in a new video.